My day is usually pretty erratic. I don't really have a set schedule. I wake up pretty much at the latest possible time, and then I'm usually still late. Lately, I've been trying to bike more. Getting from home to Stanford is pretty fun. I get to see a lot more of the world around me. It actually like, provides a little bit of a balance to my life. <laughs> I've been an assistant professor at Stanford since 2007. It's been awesome because I love doing research. A lot of times I'm actually working on a musical instrument. You usually start out with some crazy ass idea that you're just like, wouldn't it be cool if you did this? But then it's taking that idea and then just iterating on it, kind of trying new things, see if it really works the way you think it would. I spend a fair amount of my time writing code. I don't know what the percentage is. There is definitely a time from day to day that I try to set aside to get lost in the work. I really do value kind of like blocks of time more than one or two hours. That's when you can really just sit down and just lose yourself. Coding for me often is kind of a solitary activity. It's like super nerdy. It's pretty awesome that way. At the same time, I'm, I love interacting with people. I actually really like taking the train up to San Francisco to go to the Smeal office. I tend to do that more like in the afternoon times. It's peaceful. I have these mobile hotspots that I can continue with all the nerdy things I usually do on a computer, but it's kind of nice to do it on a train. Some semblance of motion, of forward motion. Today, I'm gonna go in and actually sit in on some user tests, kind of without telling someone how to use a product, watch them blow into an iPhone to play a flute-like instrument. You just want to say, hey, if you just did this one thing this way, that's how you're supposed to do it. But not being able to say it and having people do things perhaps in unintended ways means that you could have done something better in the design. Day in, day out, I try to get in some video games. <laughs> I'm actually a pretty bad procrastinator too. I, I like goofing off. At the end of the day, I think it's just more fun that way. Fun is kind of a good thing to strive for. And music itself is just one of the funnest things. It's something that is so fundamental to being human. I believe this desire within all of us to be expressive, to be social. Making music shouldn't seem so daunting and hard. It should be something as easy as picking up your phone and calling your best friend. It should be something that is natural. I love thinking about how we can, through design, you know, change in, in at least in some small ways the way we, we approach music. It's probably the most fun, grand scale game that I can think of.